Now this right here from Egyptian yoga is one of the best um, explanations and charts that basically shows the spread of mythology and philosophy from ancient times to modern times and through the different cultures. Let's get to the root now. Okay, according to the root of this right here, we have uh, Ethiopia. Now, you probably know this symbol as the yin and yang symbol, but it's also a very ancient African sigil or symbol. Now, let's just first deal with this book right here, um, Egyptian Yoga. And this particular book right here is named Egyptian Yoga. Let's get a shot of the cover right here. Egyptian Yoga. Egyptian Yoga. The Philosophy of Enlightenment. Now, this particular document um, by uh, Muata Ashby and edited by Karen Clark Ashby. I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with this particular document and treatise, uh, Egyptian Yoga, but it's one that we have found to be very, very informative and very, very interesting. And now the brother, the brother who has, this is the brother right here, about the author, Dr. Ashby. And he's done a very excellent work, a very excellent work, which we know as Egyptian Yoga. And here's an ad for the book, Egyptian Yoga. All right, um, as well as some Egyptian fonts, and this is one brother who has really contributed to the to the real work of um, I and I peoples, and and helping us to restore the half of the story that um, we have lost. But not too many people really refer to this book, and so we decided to um, you know present. Uh, a little treatment of some of the subject matters like this particular chart right here like this uh, spread the spread of mythology and philosophy now when we get to the heart of it this is you know a basic uh, a map uh, so to speak you know um, and uh, he says from the previous essay it is possible to understand the enduring influence of ancient Ethiopian and Egyptian religion and philosophy. Though it may not be possible to pinpoint every single historical event which traces the movement of the philosophy or the love of wisdom of oneness, of oneness, some the Europeans, the Eurocentric and Anglo would call it um, monotheism, but we call it oneness throughout the world. It is possible to determine and correlate the various concurrent themes of each system and to derive a basis of mythological and philosophical unity. Through the study of history, a new picture emerges to our understanding of our religions and the meaning of our existence. Now, regardless of their origins, and some say that these origins actually uh, go back to, as the author says, Mars, Africa, Sirius, etc., it is possible to view our own religious origins and religious needs with a sense of commonality with a sense of commonality as members of a single human race which goes beyond any regional differences which might have caused changes in the original teachings. Now he says that on this particular page, um, and this is the philosophy of enlightenment, Egyptian yoga, this is the spread of mythology and philosophy. So. Let's first go to the root. Now, some say that this actually originated, they said, from the universal spirit, 
or for from the one God, whether Yahweh Ahad, Ahadu Amlak in the Ethiopian and Ethiopic uh, church or Christian traditions of the Tawahido or Orthodox Church, Ethiopian Hebraic root and truth. Um, some connect that make a link that this is this has a, a Mars, a Sirius, some say Atlantis, or some other civilization they say birthed it. You understand, birthed it the culture that we have in Ethiopia and ancient Ethiopia, what we call Ethiopic, or in ancient Egypt, what we call either Kemet or Smaitawi or Taseti, so forth and so on. But now, it is from Egypt that, as we see, as it as it branches out, as it branches out into different to, into different um, directions, we can see a branching out. We can see a a branching out. Um, as it goes to the north, to so-called Greek philosophy and what's mentioned as hermeneutics or the Rosicrucians and the Druze and what's known as Eurasia. We can see that coming out from its root in Ethiopia and then going to Egypt following the Nile or the Hapi Valley. Then we also have it go into what's known as uh, Sufi or the Sufistic, the Sufism in Islam or the Essenes in the Hebraeo or Christianity, or you see the Jesus or Jesus movement, or Kabbalah, you understand Kabbalah, or the Judaic or Jewish, or another branch of the Hebraic movement, or Hinduism. We have it also come out from ancient Egypt into Hinduism, and Hindus Kush, as it's known, and Kush is referring to its Egyptian Ethiopic and its um, real origin in Africa, Buddhism, the same with Buddhism, coming out of Africa, coming out of Egypt, originating from Ethiopia, ancient Ethiopia, or Taoism in China, Taoism also coming out, branching out, or even in Japan, Shinto, the Shinto, or Japanawi Hymenote in Japan, and all of this is now in Asia. Now, let's just count this for a moment. We have, how many we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Isn't this interesting? When we read in Revelation, we read in Revelation about the seven. You understand those seven stars. You understand those seven candlesticks. This, this is the illumination or the religious illumination of these particular ancient cultures right here. But we can see the root clearly is in Africa, you understand, or more precisely in Ethiopia, or the Tob, the Tob land, the Tobia, the good land, which later the Greeks would call it, the Greeks up here call this land Ethiopis, which means burnt faces, some say. But really when we go back to its real Etymological origins, we find the archaic of Ethiopia is Etobia. So we can see this branching now, going off into different cultures. Now, from the Egypt and Ethiopia root and flowering in Egypt, we have it going from east, crossing the, the river of Egypt, the river of Ethiopia, and going from the east, to the west, into the Yoruba culture, and also the Ebo, but the Yoruba culture. And then we have it now coming over here to the Americas. We have it coming up into the Americas, the Yoruba culture. We have the Santeria culture as well. We have the Dogen link as well. So this is a very, very good chart that shows the spread of what's known as um, mythology or philosophy, but also can be ascribed as religious or spiritual teachings and and the Ethiopia and the Egypt you know, root rootage of these various religious or spiritual or philosophical or even mythological traditions. So once again we give thanks and we're going to touch on this book a little bit more. This is a very important work and just to show you the cover of this once again, this is um, 
This is a work called uh, Egyptian Yoga, the philosophy of enlightenment. And we would suggest that ones and ones uh, obtain a, a copy if they can. Check out the book. And this book is by Muata Ashby and edited by Karen Clark Ashby. Egyptian Yoga. Give thanks. Shalom Rastafari.